welcome back to another episode of Catholic Table Talk Podcast, where everything Catholic is on the table, as always, once again, on Flying Solo today for this episode. More guests to come, more great shows to come after this one, but hey, let's get this one started today. Today, I've been working, I just thought of it, um, and I kind of threw a few things together, and what I came up with this show is my top five Catholic media um, outlets that I turn to, that I listen or watch on TV and radio. So I break down my top five um, Catholic media outlets. First of all, I want to say hi to everyone watching on YouTube and Facebook in the um, now and in the future. Um, thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing the Catholic Table Talk. If you have a show request, and you don't know how to do that, please uh, drop them in the comments on Facebook and YouTube. Message me on Facebook. Email me with the um, Catholic Table Talk website that is on Facebook. And if you know my number, text me. If you see me in person a lot, then just tell me, and I'll ask about if you want a guest on or not. And we'll get someone, I'll dive deep into the subject, and we'll get on the show for you. So, so once again, um, another kind of short show, you might say, um, but yeah, so like I said, it popped in my mind, and I love listening to Catholic, uh, media, Catholic radio, so I listen to it at work a lot, so I want to share my biggest Catholic outlets that I turn to, and if you don't know of any, maybe you like to turn to them as well coming up. So, number five, let's start off with number five because it you know, was spoiler number one right away. Um, my number one, I'm sure a lot of you have not heard before, so be ready for that. But my t- number five Catholic media that I turn to is W E W T N. Um, E W T N. It's a little bit about it. It's a global Catholic network in its 38th year. It's the largest religious um, media network in the world. EWTN's 11 global TV channels are broadcast in multiple languages, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, to over 350 million television households in more than 145 countries and territories. EWTN performs Platforms also include radio services, transmitting through Sirius XM, iHeartRadio, and over 500 domestic and international AM and FM radio affi- affiliates, a worldwide sh- uh, shortwave radio service, one of the largest Catholic websites in the U.S., uh, le- uh, electronic and print news services, including Catholic News Agency, um, and the National Catholic Register newspaper that I've ha- gotten most of my articles, most of my shows from. Um, they own the National Catholic Register. And several global news wire services, as well as the EWTN Publishing, its book publishing division. So it's it's big. Um, it's on TV, you can watch it. Um, I watch some shows um, sometimes on TV. It's radio. Um, I, I mostly watch TV more than I listen to the radio. Um, I don't well, know exactly why. I just, I just do. Um, but yeah, it's on Sirius XM. If you have that, um, iHeartRadio, you can listen to stream online. Just also on your local Christian Catholic radio station. So um, yeah um. Of course, I ran across EWTN just because I think basically it's like one of the biggest, I mean, it is like the biggest Catholic media, like I said, in the world. Um, over 350 million people. So, and just going up Catholic, being high school, um, and I'm kind of online Catholic, Catholic high school platform online. Um, we talked about EWTN a lot, see what's coming up on, the, um, on TV and stuff, so... That's how I kind of got to know about it. 
like I said, I watch more TV than I do radio. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's EWTN is short if you don't know for the internal, internal world, world, not world, world television network. And then it's more common known as EWTN. Um, it will, it's on channel on Series XM 140. And this channel 261, founder was Mother Angelina, and she founded it on August 15th, 1981. So, coming up on, on the birthday, really soon for EWTN. Also, you can find more about EWTN at its official website, EWTN.com. Moving ahead now, I'd like to spend about five or five minutes or so on each topic, on each one. Let's go to number four on the list. Number four. Um, I like this network because it's more local to me, more probably lo um, localist based. Revlet Radio. Um, it has Father Walkie. It's based from West out of Wisconsin. Um, Drew Milani. Um, he has a great show. Um, the morning show is, I hope it's really awesome. Same, I haven't really listened to it. Um, but Father Walker does the Mass every day at noon, Central Time. He does the Rosary every day at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Um, that you and your family can do. And a little bit about Revit Radio. Has been helping people bridge the gap between faith and everyday life through informative, entertaining, and interactive, interactive programming 24 hours per day, 7 days a week. The Wellet Radio Network is currently serving the church by broadcasting coast to coast on 182 own and operating affiliate, affiliated stations, reaching 200 million, 203 million souls. Uh, programming can be heard worldwide via streaming audio at WellitRadio.com and on the Wellit Radio mobile app. So like I said, it's based out of Wisconsin. Um, that's where its headquarters are. I've gotten um, a couple books um, about it from the authors, including uh, this one by Drew Amarani. It's called Divine Morsi. Um, it was free, so I just signed up and got a copy of it. Really good. So, like I said, you got basically, same as like EWTN, you got basically a whole day of live Catholic talk on the radio. And then, like I said, um, I do Mass every day on the radio at noon, Central Time, and the Rosary every day at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time um, on the radio as well. So, and also Father Walkie does, um, he did Advent uh, studies, so about a two-minute video every day. If you sign up, you get in your inbox. Um, he has a two-minute video about the Mass or Advent or whatever. Um, in this past let, he had looking studies of the Mass, so he, same thing, two-minute video of what the Mass is, how it's won behind the scenes of what things are, what they're called, everything about it. So, um, I would highly recommend it. It's coming up at that and it's coming let. Um, so he does a very good job with it. Um, hopefully we get him on the show soon because, um, Father Walkie would be really good to have on the show. So you can find more on Real It's Real, also on EWTN, um, EWTN has Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, everything. Same with Real Radio, Facebook, um, I guess Instagram and Twitter. You can look up. So let's go to number three. Number three is my favorite because most of us, or all of us, I should say, were sitting at home watching Mass during the um, COVID last, this past year. And there was one guy, one priest, who really stood out. That you loved his homilies. 
that you hadn't felt like you were really connected with them, like, like, you really had a really good homily, and great videos, he had his own podcast, and he just came out with a new podcast called Bible in a Year, yeah, I'm talking about Father Mike Schmidt from the section presents, and that's number three, is a section presents. Um, so like I said, basically number three, I like it because of basically mostly Father Mike. Um, he's my go-to guy. Also, Jeff Cavins. Um, he did a couple of Bible studies from the section. He came out with the great. Um, I read your Bible. I have it. You can get yours at, at sectionpress.com. So, like I said, they got great videos on YouTube. Um, Father Mike does great videos. A couple other um, priests, they do videos. And it's just great short videos every week about life and life. Um, hardships, and it's just basically what we do. We, they talk about, they give you um, answers to what your questions are. So like I said, Jeff Cavings, I really like, my Father Mike Schmitz. Um, you can listen to his podcast, Bible and You, if you're not away, away doing so. Um, it's all on YouTube now, and of course, at sectionpresents.com. So, yeah, um, yeah, so, that's number three, and now let's go to number two. And number two is Catholic.com, otherwise we're known as Catholic Answers. Same, uh, same thing, I kind of ran across this, um, uh, kind of like answers a lot, um, this past year, or we don't do COVID, just not much going on, out to school, um, mostly, just helping out at the farm, so, I, I had a lot more time to sit around, um, I may have stayed busy, but I sat around a lot and listened, so, yeah, catholic.com, it's the same thing, which more, I'm not saying all these stations are here to help you learn more about the Catholic faith and to answer the hard questions that you might have. But Catholic.com has great, it's all about Catholic apologists. Um, you got Tim Staples, Carl Broussard, Trent Horn, great guys. Um, I might have Tim Staples on hopefully sometime. But they are based from out of uh, California. And they have a weekday show called Catholic Answers Live. That is on Catholic.com. And it's also on other radio stations. Throughout the country and throughout the world. Um, it's on 5 to 7 uh, Central Time. It's on YouTube. It's on Facebook. You can listen to. But. Catholic Answers uh, mission is Catholic Answers is a media ministry that serves Christ by explaining and defending the Catholic faith. We help Catholics grow in their faith, we bring former Catholics home, and we lead non-Catholics into the fullness of truth. Just a little bit about their story. Catholic Answers started in 1979 when, when our founder, Carl Ketterer, came out of Mass and found a flyer on his windshield that attacked the Eucharist. A local uh, Fenumis church put them there and the information was completely wrong. Carl was so annoyed that he drove home with a humble goal to draft a letter that would introduce basic Catholic beliefs and refute anti-Catholic charges. He resigned the rebuttal Catholic answers, opened a post office, box in that name and then placed it he placed his spots on the windshields of cars in the same fucking dementialist church uh, church's lot. So it all began um 
when a neighboring church was attacking the Eucharist, believe it or not, um, which a lot of people do, and he just said Catholic answers on it, and that's how Catholic answers became to me. And I, I like it because I like to shop. Um, if you, I have worn Catholic answers, uh, my polo short, short on here before. Um, they have great books about um, Tim Staple. Um, I mean, books that Tim Staples wrote. Um, the whole Scott Side Catholic's really great. Carl Broussard, Trent Horn, all those guys. Um, great. Great shop, check it out. You also get lots of free ebooks, and I know I'm talking about these guys a lot, but it's number two. And you can um, register to be a part of the radio club where you can vote on stuff and you can get the latest at Catholic.com. And for more, of course, um, Catholic Actions Live, and they got, I mean, they got great stuff, so check them out, Catholic.com. Catholic Actions Live radio show every weekday, 5 to 7 central time. Don't forget, and also Catholic Actions Focus, where Catholic Actions Live host Cy Kellett is a host of his own podcast there. And that's kind of how um, I came up with Catholic Table Talk. Cy Kellett just basically asked a couple questions, and he let his guests do the rest half an hour so that's where one of the things that inspired me to do Catholic Table Talk was Catholic Actions Focused and now let's go to our number one show on network that I listen to on basically a daily basis and like I said I'm sure most people most of you have not heard about this because this is only three years old this network And I'll let, I'll kind of leave you hanging for a moment here as we read about what this network, how this network began. A new network is born. On July 4th, 2018, the Terry and Jesse show received the shocking news that Relit Whale, that I just mentioned that was my number four show on our network, would no longer be broadcasting the popular program. As soon as the new as the news was made public, the Terry and Jesse show immediately received unprecedented number of calls and emails encouraging them to keep fighting the good fight and continue broadcasting the daily live show by other means. About a week or so later, on January 15, 2018, the Terry and Jesse show resumed broadcast via podcast and the iPhone app available for Apple and Android devices. In a press release at the time, Terry Barber, who founded the network, said, quote, We remain positive and we are surrendering out to God's permissive uh, will. Thank you, Jesus. From this hope and the almost overwhelming support of fans and radio stations across the country, Voyager's most powerful radio was born. In addition to the Terry and Jesse show, the app began broadcasting several hours of classic recordings daily from Bishop Sheen, uh, Dr. Scott Hahn, and others and starting to develop of new live shows. With the goal of going 24-7 with 80% original programming, Virtual Most Powerful's Wales lineup will be available for broadcast in, out, or in part absolutely free to radio stations all over the world. So, it's called Virgin Most Powerful Radio. Um, if you have seen my car, I, I have the bumper sk- uh, sticker on my bumper. I've gotten, um, I've gotten a cup from them. And I thought I had the card, but I got um, wallet cards to pass along to people from them. So, and my, actually how I kind of came to know about it was my high school, high school theology instructor, Gary Machuda, who will be coming on the show soon. 
he has a show on what the most powerful daily weekdays at noon central called hangs on apologetics because he's a catholic apologist so that's how i came about the network was during class he says hey i got my show you guys can listen to and i looked it up and like i said i really like this channel this network i listen to it at work a lot and I think you will too if you give them a chance. Um, it's called Words and Most Powerful. It's online at wordsandmostpowerful.org. That's the flagship. Um, it's, they were banned from YouTube. Um, if you check out my Facebook post, I did share that. They were banned from YouTube. So they're on Rumble, they're on Facebook, um, other networks, uh, Gab, new social media outlets. So that's where they're at. But the easiest way is to get the virtual most powerful mobile app on your iPhone and Android. That's what I have. And it sure does help out a lot at work. And the live broadcast is 11 to 3 weekdays. Wherever you can find it. Like I said, wherever is best for you. Um, let's just go through the shows quick. Because I know I'm by heart. And it's number one. So this is the last one. Um, so number one, at 11 a.m. Central, it's when the new day begins, new live shows, is Jesus 911 with Jesse Romero and guests, different guests all week. Um, at noon Central, we got Gary Machuda, hangs on Paul Jacks with a guest every day. We got, at 1 o'clock Central, we got the Terry and Jesse show, the most popular that people wanted back so much. From wherever it will. Sometimes they got guests on, but a lot of it they just um they, you know talk about back and forth. And then after that it's then it's a weekly show every day. So I mean by that so every day of the week it's a different show. So on Mondays it's the Bar of History with Doctor M um Malaza. I think pronounce his last name. Tuesdays, um, if you have heard of Bishop Strickland of Tyler, Texas, he's on there every Tuesday at 2 o'clock. He's out at 2. Wednesday is No Nonsense Catholic with Matthew Arnold. Hopefully we'll get him on the show as well soon. Um, that's 2 o'clock Wednesdays. Thursdays is the Dr. Sandoval show with Dr. Louise Sandoval. Um, that's Thursdays at 2. And Fridays at 2 is Bible, the Bible with the Barbers where... Um, Terry Barber and his wife read the Bible and kind of a Bible study on Friday afternoons. So, wait shows, um, check them out. And that's Words and Most Powerful Real. My number one Catholic media outlet that I turn to basically daily. So, and that's another um, reason why I was inspired to do my podcast was listen to Terry and the Terry and Jesse show. So, thank you, Terry and Jesse, because um, you have helped impact my life. Like I said, it was mostly from Catholic. It was from Catholic answers, and what was powerful how I wanted to do Catholic Tea talk. So, I strongly urge and hope you check these guys out. Virgin Most Powerful Radio dot com or dot org. So, let's go back to them. Number five, EWTN. Number four, Revit Radio. Number three, a section present, uh, presents, or a section press. Number two, Catholic.com, also known as also Catholic Answers. Catholic Answers Live Radio Show, weekdays from five to seven. And Virgin Most Powerful Radio, Live shows, 11 a.m. Central to 3 p.m. Central, and also after the 3 o'clock, after 2 o'clock show, ends at 3, I do the rosary every day. So, you can do the rosary at 3 o'clock if you work with family, too. If Father, Father Walking does work out for you at 7, do it at 3 o'clock. So, so that is it for today. I hope you might have learned something, even though it's just kind of talking about my favorite Bragging about my favorite Catholic media outlets. 
But if you have a question um, about, you know, the Catholic faith or something, I mean, you get a hold of me, you can go back to any of these five websites. I'll have the links up on YouTube and Facebook so you can find them and go to them easy. And, yeah, so hopefully you learned something. And that does it for this week. We'll see you next week, God willing, on Catholic Table Talk Podcast. Inspiring by Catholic Answers Live on Catholic.com, as well as the Terry and Justin show on Virgin Most Powerful Wheel. We'll be back, God willing, next week. God bless you, and we'll see you next week, Catholic Table Talk, where everything Catholic is still on the table.